Hey guys, oh, welcome back to Crane This Art and I am Maitri. I do oil painting time lapses. So today I am working on this tiny piece of canvas paper and uh, why I chose this tiny piece of canvas paper because um, I, yes, I uh, did little pieces of watercolor and also some uh, oil paintings before but uh, today i chose to do something a bit different so uh, this uh, background that i am creating now is going to be very uh, messy blurred background and then my object will be very sharp um, crisp and focused so yeah that is the thing i'm trying out for the very first time on my channel and also in my life i have never uh, tried to do a blurry background and macro lensed photography so what i learned about painting blurry background is when you're doing it for the first time you will definitely need a reference picture and you have to uh, observe that picture very well and uh, we have to understand the pattern of uh, those um, rounded blobs of um, light colors or whatever uh, that creates the fuzzy blur effect and uh, that's how we would be able to um, paint it um, in a realistic manner and also i have learned that blending is the key for creating this kind of background because blending the edges of those blobs uh, actually gives the fuzzy blurred out effect i basically used to fine tipped brush uh, for the application of the colors and uh, if first time when we apply the color on the canvas or whatever we have to um, follow the reference picture a little bit uh, and we have to add exact color um, in the exact places as uh, the reference picture shows but as we go ahead we somehow get the idea of how to uh, create the blobs or the fuzzy effect and uh, uh, then i started using a blending brush And here my camera battery died and I didn't really notice that it was not filming the part where I was finishing off with the flower but I did the same with the flower I uh, blended out the uh, edges of the petals uh, to give it a blurred out effect and then I started adding color to the bug I um, just followed the reference picture because I didn't know how to um, paint a bug and I learned it for the first time following a reference picture I added some um, shadow and light areas and also a light spot on the bug skin just to give a light source because that's how we make a painting look a little realistic otherwise it would literally lay flat and doesn't look like it's a real photo um, yeah i i try to uh, make it realistic but keep it really simple and the brush strokes uh, really loose uh, so that it has a painting like finish I hope you guys enjoyed this painting process um, 
follow me on my other socials the links are in the description box like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll meet you guys soon in my next video until then bye